Hey everyone, I've got a quick tip here for you today, and that's how to apply a color lookup table, or LUT, in real time to your video footage. And you probably already have the equipment to do it right now. Hey everyone, my name is Doug. I run a video production company in Orem, Utah, and I'm going to have to do a quick tip here with you today, show you exactly how to do what I'm doing. So, the equipment that you need to do this, this is the Blackmagic Design Mini Converter SDI to HDMI 6G. That stands for 6 gig SDI. This actually has the hardware in it to apply a color lookup table to video in real time. Now this feature was actually designed for cameras that shoot log footage so you can view an approximation of what the final grade would look like on a monitor in real time while you're shooting. But it has the added advantage that you can use it for any other footage at any other time, including things that you shoot live. This is great for if you need to color correct cameras so that they match one another or if you just want to apply a final look to your program before it goes out to a stream or before it gets recorded. Either one will work. And it's actually very easy to do. The connections are actually very easy to make. We've got power coming in. We've got our video signal coming in. This can either come from a camera or if we're applying our look to our program feed, that can come from the program feed of the switcher. Then we have our output, which will either go to the camera input of a switcher, if you're only doing a single camera, or to a recorder or your streaming device if you are applying to the program. You also need a mini USB connection in order to upload the LUTs into the device. Uh, this, cam this cable does not come with the device, so you probably want to pick one of those up. Once you've got the connections made, you need to make some configuration changes on this device, and that's done with the dip switches that are here on the top. Now conveniently, Blackmagic has actually put a chart on the back here, letting you know what the meanings of the diff different switches are. And the ones we're concerned with here are switches 5, 6, and 7. So 5 determines whether the LUT that's being applied is actually sent to the SDI output. Normally you'd only send it to the HDMI, but flipping that switch on also sends it to SDI. Switch 6 lets you select which of the two LUTs that are built in you're actually applying. And then switch 7 actually lets you turn this feature on and off. So with that, we'll take a look here at the actual switches that are on here. And I've got switches 5 and 7 turned on. So 5 so that the, the LUT gets applied to the output and 7 to turn on this feature. Now I actually have two LUTs downloaded in here right now and I can switch between those by flipping switch 6. So if I flip switch 6 there, there you go. You see that it's switching to the other LUT that I have built in. Seeing, seeing the before on the left side of the screen and the after on the right side of the screen. Now how do we actually get these LUTs in here? That's done with the Blackmagic Design uh, mini converter setup utility. So once you've got the device connected to your computer with USB, you'll launch this Blackmagic converter setup application. If you have multiple devices connected at once, you might have to navigate using the arrows on the left and right side of the screen. But once you find the right converter and click on the little button here and on the video tab, this first one, you have two different places that you can load in LUTs. This uses 33 point LUTs, which are kind of a standard, and they have to be in the cube format. But there are tons of these available on the internet. In fact, I'm going to make some of the ones that I've created available. So if you go to djp.li slash free LUTs, link there on the bottom of the screen, uh, you can download some of the ones that I've created for just very simple, very quick, very easy looks. In addition to that, there's a ton of sites that have looks specifically for specific cameras or uh, to make look like certain types of film and all sorts of stuff. There's all sorts of free ones out there and it's actually not that hard to create them in something like DaVinci Resolve. Uh, you can use all the tools there to adjust your hue, saturation, uh, color balance, those kinds of things and then once you got your final look it's very easy to export a cube file from within there. I'll do another video about that sometime in the future. But once you've actually chosen what looks you want you can go into the software here and click on the load button and then you'll be able to browse and choose one of the various cube files. So let's actually do, we'll do a heavy punch look. This is one that I created, and this is one I'm going to make available. So there's the, my heavy punch look. And it's not as quite as heavy as the name might imply. Let's actually load an, an, another couple here. Bump primaries. So this takes your primary colors, your red, green, blue, uh, and boosts the saturation on those. So let's actually take a little more of a look at that. So if you notice the cables, on this converter here are quite a bit more saturated than they would be. Uh, the red on my shirt, the blue behind me, etc. Now these don't have to be subtle. They can actually be kind of extreme. There's no rules that say it has to be something simple. So we're going to actually go in here and find, some, uh, find one that I've actually loaded, found on a free website. So if we look for this wipe one, and click on load that, 
say it takes a second to download, but then there we go. So that one's got a, a very, very, very warm tint to it. And again, these can be can be very subtle or they can be very extreme. That's just depending on whoever created them and the look that they wanted to achieve. Now another thing we can do here, uh, the device actually supports two, two LUTs simultaneously, so I'm going to go ahead and load one into the second slot. So if I choose, say, this enchanted one here, it's going to download that in there, but it's not going to be applied until I flip the switch on here to tell it to use the second LUT. So flip switch 6 on, and there we go. Now, and that look is now being applied to, uh, to the video. So give you a little bit more of a side-by-side -side comparison there. So anyway, uh, this is going to be done with the SDI to HDMI 6G, uh, not the older 4K, but the 6G, and the Terranex Mini SDI to HDMI converter also does this as well. There are other, other devices out there, but those are the two that I'm, I'm most aware of that are most affordable. So anyway, so a link to purchase those uh, on screen down below. Appreciate you using those links. Those are affiliate links to help out the channel quite a bit. I should also mention that we've brought on a new affiliate partner on the channel. We're now working with DVE Store. They are a great retailer in the northwest portion of the United States. They've got a great selection of products, great prices, and they have amazing service. So if you're looking for a great partner to, to work with, and these guys know video inside and out, uh, they're going to help you more than some of the big guys that are out there. So I encourage you, to, when you're purchasing these things, to use DVE Store. Those are great guys over there. We very appreciate appreciate their, their cooperation and getting us set up as an affiliate there. So anyway, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I have tried to do new content about once a week related to video production. Uh, if you're running a video production business, I have also have this crew access website that I've created that allows you to manage all aspects of your business, keeping track of your events, your, your crew, your equipment, uh, planning, all, planning all the events out, every aspect of your event. Uh, there's a lot going on there, and there's even a free version for those who have more modest, more simple needs. And you can use that for as long as you want. So go check that out. So anyway, anyway, thanks everyone for watching, and have a great day.